This is WatchMojo.com and I'm Mike Pellegrini from K-Bell Training Academy and president of L'Equipe Train with Mike. Today we're going to show you some basics of kettlebell training. The first exercise we're going to demonstrate today is the one-arm, one-legged deadlift. This is a fundamental movement which we teach in kettlebells before we get into the more complex movements. It's important to do this exercise to teach the concepts of grounding, uh, breathing and generating tension in the body. So as you see, Sebastian's got that weight in one arm. He's lowering the weight very close to his body and he's generating ground forces through his foot, up through his leg, and which will propel up to the rest of his body. He's breathing, taking deep breaths in through his nose on the way down, and little power breaths out on the top to hold in as much tension as possible throughout the exercise. His back is nice and flat, he's not rounding through the upper back, and his back leg is out to counterbalance. The next exercise we're going to demonstrate is the classic and most popular kettlebell exercise, the kettlebell swing. Sebastian is demonstrating the two-handed swing, which is the first progression of the swing. This movement is often rushed into. We need to understand the basic principles of grounding, tension generation and breathing before we get into this movement. So make sure you learn those first. As you see, he's driving that weight up through his hips. The mistake people make in this exercise, they think of squatting and lifting with the shoulders. This exercise is driven entirely from the hips, as you see, and the arms are only guiding the weight to wherever he wants to take it, in this case up to shoulder level. Now he's going to go into a one-arm swing, which is the next progression of the two-handed swing. As you see, those hips are driving that weight up, he's pushing the ground away from him, and he's keeping that power breathing technique to keep tension in his body. Now he's going to go into the alternating swing. A little more complex, requires some coordination, and of course lots of muscle endurance and power endurance, which is really unique to the kettlebell. He's having a whole lot of fun doing it too. Always. The next exercise we're going to show you is a more advanced kettlebell exercise, and this exercise is the classic um, exercise that comes out of the traditional kettlebell competitions. We're talking about the kettlebell snatch. This is a progression of the swing, that one arm swing, except the difference here is that instead of having your arm extended out in front of you, you're going to pull that elbow, pull that arm really close to the body and carry the weight all the way up. Remember again that the driving force here is the hips. Take a look. I'd like to thank Sebastian over here for all his efforts in showing us the proper technique and kettlebell work. Thank you very much, Sebastian. Thanks. So remember, kettlebells are one of the greatest and most functional types of exercises that you can do. But it's very important to learn the basic techniques before you rush into the more complex movements. Get trained by a certified kettlebell instructor.